I'm going to take you to a place few people have heard of or know its location. For this next story, I travel some 6,000 miles to the tiny nation of Georgia. No, we're not talking about the state in the U.S., but an ancient land where culture, tradition, and faith in Jesus Christ run deep. It was famed novelist John Steinbeck who, while traveling through the Soviet Union in 1947, referred to this land as a kind of second heaven. And it's easy to see why. Once part of the communist empire, and often called the Riviera of the Soviet Union, the Republic of Georgia nestles between the Caucasus Mountains and the Black Sea. Turkey and Armenia flank its southern border. Azerbaijan is to the east, Russia to the north. Levan Vazadze is a Georgian businessman. I come from a very ancient, perhaps one of the most ancient cultures in the world. An ancient place where people speak a language that's over 2,000 years old. Ethnographer Luar Sab Togonitse says his is a country that has also witnessed its fair share of turmoil. Georgians go through a lot. Because of the geographical location, many armies, invaders, would pass this way. History here is measured in millennia, not centuries. And throughout the ages, your country has been the playground for numerous empires. The Ottomans, the Persians, the Greeks, the, the Byzantine Empire, the Romans, the Mongols, the Russians. In the capital city of Tbilisi, the ancient and modern mix seamlessly to create a beautiful portrait of Georgia's rich culture and traditions. One of the best ways to take in the sights and sounds of uh, Tbilisi is to take one of these trolleys up the mountain. In filming these scenes of Tbilisi and stunning countryside landscapes, Georgian cameraman Georgi Shamazana said it best. Every time I travel in different regions of my country, I feel like I'm traveling through thousands of years of history. Georgians are legendary for their hospitality. They believe guests come from God and as such are treated with honor. Their food mm, is simply out of this world. For example, you have this amazing dish, it's called khinkali and the all famous hachapuri. Friendship is highly valued in the society and family is paramount. But if there is one thing many Georgians cherish most, it is their faith. Vasadze says Christianity, above all else, has protected and preserved his nation. The reason Georgia remained what it is, because our nation has a profound feeling of responsibility to holding on to the eternal features of our national character, which by all means are rooted in the Christian culture. Georgia is one of the oldest Christian countries in the world. Its Christian heritage can be traced here to the small town of Mshketa. It was around 326 AD when a woman evangelist named Nino started preaching the gospel here. And the way these two rivers meet, two main rivers of Georgia, uh, there was a big baptism. And it's considered to be second Jerusalem for Georgians. It's a holy place. Christianity spread to the rest of the country and in about 10 years became the state religion. Five crosses symbolizing Christianity's influence adorned the Georgian national flag. 
dating back to the fourth century, the church has played a significant role in the society. In fact, about 80% of Georgians say they belong to the Orthodox Church. Georgians have always had to defend their faith, even to the last drop of blood. Iona Gamrekeli is a prominent leader in the Georgian Orthodox Church. He says over the centuries, many Christians became martyrs for refusing to renounce their faith. In 1226 alone, Muslim invaders beheaded more than 100,000 Georgian Christians. There have been numerous attempts by invading armies to force us to give up our faith, but we never back down. Ellen Kavlelashvili is curator at Georgia's National Museum. She has in her collection priceless manuscripts, rare Bibles, and other historical artifacts documenting Georgia's Christian heritage. Today, the role of Christianity is even more significant as we face new challenges. Kavlelashvili believes her country today stands at a crossroads with the countries of Central Asia, Russia, Europe, and the Middle East all vying for cultural and religious influence, she says tiny Georgia must once again stand to protect her heritage. I hope Georgia's example of unconditional love and dedication to faith are a testimony to all mankind. People should realize that the absence of faith is disastrous for a nation. Christianity is how we survived in the past, and it's how we will survive in the future. George Thomas, CBN News in Tbilisi, the Republic of Georgia.